What up tubers, this is Ray from Rayware Computers since 1996, rwcweb.com. Go to rwcweb.com, put your best email in this box here and I shall show you oodles and oodles of great stuff. Okay, you know a lot of people have been asking me about a side hustle. Okay, now me and my life, I've tried everything and everything. Okay, I remember back in, whoo, let's see, 1990s. Website. All right, let's do just an image search of this in the 1990s, okay. Now, I came across this company. It was kind of like a franchise, okay. Whoa, look at McDonald's back then. That funny. And me and a buddy of mine, we were working in the casino, chucking cards as blackjack dealers, sucking down smoke in a hideous friggin' lifestyle ever. Okay, in Atlantic City. Uh, my buddy had a part time job as a nurse. I was a home improvement guy and did whatever I could as well. You know, I fixed things, you know. That was my, my main shtick. So back in the 90s, we ran across this company and to sell websites. And really, it was just in the beginning of all this internet crap. And, you know, like, that was even before my computer business, like a couple of years before I opened my computer business. And we went door to door trying to sell businesses' websites. Boy, did we get shot down. I'll never forget the thing that broke the straw on us was a locksmith you know we told him you know we're gonna give you this great website and it's gonna be up in a couple days and it's gonna cost you like 500 bucks and he turned around and he said you know the guy was in business for 30 something years 40 years we were just a couple of stupid kids chucking cards at the casino he said well how is somebody and this was way before the iPhone where you know even the cell phones, a lot of people didn't have back then, you know. And uh, he says, well, how the hell are people going to get on the Internet if they're locked out of their house? Because we use that as a metaphor. If somebody got locked out of their house, how are they going to get back in? You know, so we're coming up with all these scenarios to think, well, what the hell? So when it comes to side hustles, okay, side hustles. From home. There was search, there's three million. There's so many guys advertising it. Okay. Five side hustles. All right. 23 legit ways to make extra cash. Now, you stay to the end of this video, you're going to learn something that you could do in the real world and something you're probably very familiar with. Okay. All right. So, this is it the side hustle. Okay. What do we got? Stop overpaying when you shop online. Get rid of that crap. What is this? Get $10 to start investing in Telsa, Arizona, Apple. Oh my god. Turn your skills into cash. Cancel your car insurance. How the hell is that going to make you money? Earn money online by taking surveys. I tried that. It sucks. It was ridiculous. Don't let anybody tell you that shit works, okay? Nobody makes money off of that, okay? I uh, get paid up to $225 a month to watch viral videos. Tried that too. The process was ridiculous to get into it, and they give you like two cents for watching like 7,000 videos. Didn't like it, okay? Add up to 5500 to your income this year. What is this? What's the catch? You got to try and sign up for free trials. I don't know what that is. Add up to $300 a month passive income. Okay, what I'm about to show you. Okay, has nothing to do with any of this bullshit. Freelance writer and stuff like that. Now, you use the internet and you're going to use your iPhone. Okay. And what it is is books. Use books. Now, after you watch this video, you probably, you should, you should, not then you probably will, 
Go through your house, go through your garage, go through your attic, go through your basement, and gather all the books that you got in your house that you never read or you read. Even books, especially textbooks if you were in college or you went to school or, you know, somebody else. Look at, look at all of them. Okay. Side hustle ideas. 1,000 a month. All right. A lot of this is clickbait. They want you to go to their site and give it a look at all this. Start flipping furniture. And some of this is legit. Like I've done that. Sell things on eBay. I made thousands of dollars, probably tens of thousands of dollars on eBay. Okay. Etsy. I don't really like that. Start a blog. Deliver items. Food. So this seems pretty legit. This work here. Okay. A lot of this seems pretty, pretty legit. Okay. Child care services. Write an ebook. Become a social media manager. Some of them are very hard. Okay, uh, bookkeeper. So there's a lot of things to do. So this has to do with books. Okay, now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you these books. Okay, and again, this video ain't going to be too long. So stay to the end of it and you're going to learn how to do this. And I've done it for years. Okay, and every time I'm, you know, I have some extra time, I run across these things, I do it and I make good money doing it. Okay, so you got to find these books. This is $3. This is a lot of mystery. Let's see, Bible books. Cooking books might be good. Let's check out cooking. So now this is just going to be your learning process here. Okay, it's going to be your learning process. Okay, let's see what this Chinese cookbook. That's not selling for much. Now you're going you're gonna to look for this number. <laughs> All right, they, they did this wrong. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's the ISBN numbers that identifies the book when it gets published. Okay, so we're gonna copy these, and you don't even need the name of the book. Just copy and paste. This is probably too cheap of a book, so we'll, we'll, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll go back here. Let's go here. Uh, cooking books will stay away from, okay? Yeah, a lot going on in my neighborhood. I hope the lights don't go out to get again today. All right, crime and thrillers, they sell. You see, because they got 30,000 of them there. See, now you got a lot of 16 here. So let's just open this up in a new window for a second, all right? And again, stick to the end of this video. I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? James Patterson. Oh, they're all James Patterson. Okay, should have read the should have read the thing. So now, okay, so you can buy a lot of them for ten. Now in here, it's not going to have the IS number. Okay, but what you're doing now in the beginning here is you're just trying to get a gist of what's out there, bestsellers. Okay, hardcover bestsellers. Let's go paperback bestsellers. Let's see what's going on. And, you know, you're going to want to get older books, too. Now, you can get books everywhere. People throw them in the garbage, okay? There's slews and slews of places you could get it at. Flea markets, uh, yard sales. Uh, where else can you get them? Uh, we have this place called Inspiration. It's like a miniature Goodwill. The Goodwill is another place you can get it, okay? You go to estate sales. All right, and you can do it all right in your neighborhood. I don't care where you live. All right, so this is a fourteen ninety nine book. Let's try this one. All right, and again, we're just collecting this numbers, and you know, if you want to go crazy, you could, you, you know, you could learn the, you know, the number of the uh, the author of the book. That looks kind of long for the number. They might have made a mistake and put some extra numbers in it. All right, so let's just keep going. Look for the ones with all the stars. Okay, let's see who this is. Might even. Okay, let's pin 13. Copy that. Go here. So now you're going to do this with about 20 or 30. Remember, this is just a learning process. And I'm going to take that number here, okay? And I'm going to go into this 
It's called isbnsearch.org. Okay, and I'll have a link of it in, this, in the description. Okay, so what this is, is this is an affiliate site, obviously. I put in the number, it comes up where you could buy it, and this person, and this is a genius little site, and you could do this too if you could figure out this coding, how to do this. Um, and then it puts all the affiliate searches in there. Okay, and then when you click on this, it's obviously they're an affiliate. Okay, so let's see how, how this book stands. You know, and I, and I think we just got it off of eBay, so we're going to, you know. All right, so he's even got, now, when you do your search, wow, it's got a lot of, okay. When you do your search here, now look at this, a dollar here, $3 shipping. So four, five, so on average, it's like a $7 book. But even if you could get them cheap, after you do this and you make money, you're going to want to invest, okay, and buy these books. All right, let me get rid of that side also thing. Let me get rid of this for now. Okay. So now let's check a couple of them that we did. Okay. Here's a guy. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to have to go through a lot of these. But if you're just sitting here on the Internet, you know, it's better than just sitting there and watching freaking Netflix. Okay. So let's go with this one. Oops, we clicked on it. I don't want to do that. I want to just copy it. Okay. Uh, Control C to copy it from these links. Okay. Control C. Let's go. Okay, we just did that one. Where was I? All right. So that's the one I just did. Okay. All right. Oh, that was good. Never mind. Let me try this guy. Okay. Oh, because we're doing a lot. It's got the Captiva thing going. Oh, 41 bucks, Chinese cookbook. Okay. I right, see in other places are selling it for 99 cents, seven dollars. So now, if you see that here, okay, this is just another way to make these. This ain't the way I'm going to show you, but this is things that I do as well. Okay, so if I go to this eBay, okay. I paste it here. If I can get it for seven bucks there. Alright, so okay, they're only selling for three bucks here. But you have to know what sells. You gotta you gotta get a gist of what sells. So obviously cookbooks are off the list, okay? Unless it's you know Rachel Ray maybe or something like that. Okay. So let's go. Of course we want it in English if you're in America. I think romance sells a lot. Romance book. They sell a lot. Let's see what's going on with this one. This one, $42. So, Eat My Darling, A Guide. Okay, we, we really want cookbooks. I don't know why I clicked on that. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this guy. Now, again, you're going to do this to get the hang of this and get the learning curve on, on what books sell. And what books go okay so we're gonna go here now by all means if, if you all right 42 bucks that's a keeper let's keep that now you necessarily are not gonna buy these books online but on eBay when I did once you get the hang of this right You go to you go to eBay, okay. James Patterson books, okay. Let's do a search on that. James Patterson, okay. I've been there. James Patterson paperback books, Amazon. Let's look for a good price on one. Twelve, twelve, forty-two dollars. That's a series. I don't think necessarily certain. James Patterson, I know he's been around for a while. Let's see if we can get this number. All right, so you just want to gather a bunch of these numbers. And again, it's very easy. And this is how you do it from home. I'm going to show you another way to do it out in the real world, too. Okay? So now, let's see this. Second sale. What do you got? Now, you can go to secondsale.com, 
graphic novels, business book, international, and finance. Let's see how much the finance books are. And you can pick a category that you're familiar with. Okay, so let's pick this. Now, here's some information that you need to know. Okay, I scroll right past it. There it is over here. Okay, I'm going to copy these. Here's information that you need to know. Okay. Uh, if you go do a search, like I did a search for my local bookstores, used books. You put in used books near me. Okay. And these shops come up. All right. So say you went to an estate sale. You bought a bunch of books. You took my little system I'm going to give you here. And, uh, you sold, say you, you took a lot of these, took a couple lots of these, right? 10 books here, $16. And you don't have to invest in money at first, okay? Or minimal money, like on some of these books. If you buy it in a lot, because once you get the gist of what's selling, okay, you'll know what to look for. So you gotta, you gotta kind of practice and look around with these, okay? So you get these books in a lot and say the system that I gave you, uh, you know, for 13 bucks, you get 10 books. It's less than a dollar a piece. Okay. They're going to deliver it right to your house. Okay. I don't think he has anything. All right. So you can look them up if you want to take the time. Okay. But even if you can only get like five or six bucks for one of these, a dollar. Okay. So say you got three dollars for forties, three, six, nine, twelve. So you basically got your money back, right? Okay. And you can take the rest of them. If it doesn't sell on this system that I, I gave you, you can take it to your local bookstore. Look what it says right here in this local bookstore. We give store credit for any paperbacks that we take. For our socks, we decline the books. We do take some hard covers provided, okay? And that's just right near me. So now obviously, this is the book trader. Okay, so they give you credit, and obviously they sell books too, because they have to sell something, they won't be in business. So once you get the store credit, okay, again, you're getting your money back for this. Maybe you can go into these stores with your store credit for free now, okay, and get some credit with these stores. All right, you understand how this is going? So you want to look for books, okay? One ISBN number. Okay, this is the number that's given to them when they copyright the book. Okay, it's a publishing number. It's worldwide. It's universal. It's like a it's like a patent on a book. Okay. Now, this and you know we don't really need to know in detail what all the numbers are or anything like that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to give you a drum roll here. And this is the, the place right here. Sell back your books. Okay, sell back your books. Now they got a sister site there, so let's go down the line here. I already put a couple in there. Okay, now these books you're finding online, but three bucks for that book. Okay, so if I found this book here, Okay, can you see that? If I find this book here, okay, on eBay in a lot with these, okay, and I go here, I'm gonna get three bucks for it. If I had two of them, you understand what I'm saying? Three, six, nine, twelve, okay? Sellbackyourbook.com. Now I've done this before, it's fantastic, okay? So now let's go back. Oops. Oh, man, go a little crazy. Grab another one. Okay, put it here. All right, so some of them are going to come up like that. And then what you want to do is, and I, you know, I could, I would do it in a notepad or a spreadsheet. You want to make a list of a dollar sign on one and a zero sign on one. So you have your zeros. So you could either take it out of your thing and put it. In, you know, you can do a spreadsheet with both. So you don't have to waste your time going over it again and again and again. Okay, and see what's going on. I might have this one in there ready. So let's do another one. Okay. 
no dollar. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going good, right? Where are we? All right, we're going good. Let's do this one. I'm going to put it in there already. It's going to tell you the name of the book and everything. All right, 15 cents. We'll take it. Okay, now you got nine books in there. You don't want to make your card too big. You want it to be paperback so they're lighter. Okay, and if you want to remove these, like my rule of thumb is I go with at least uh, $2 or more. But you don't have to. You can put as many in there as you want. I'm not sure. And, you know, you want to make sure they're in good condition. They don't have any writing in them. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure that that number is on them when you buy them. Now, here's the greatest thing. You take your phone and you put on one of these apps on your phone. And you go to these places and you app the shit out of these books. You app the shit out of these books where you go. Yard sales, flea markets, estate sales, okay? Your relatives, ask your relatives, hey, you got any old books laying around? I want to catch up on some new reading. They don't have to know what you're doing with them, okay? Uh, goodwill is big for these. Goodwill is really big for these. You can put an ad on Craigslist, okay? Put an ad on Craigslist. All right, put an ad on Craigslist. Let's see what's going on with Craigslist. And this is just in my area. You want to stay local to your area. All right, so 800 there. Use handbooks, $4, okay? So if you figure out which ones sell, all right, you can be on a repetitive hunt for the books that sell. Okay, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? All right, so we will knock out these, and we'll just hit enter again and see. We only want to see the books. We don't care about anything else. Okay, and you can even pick the categories over here in Craigslist. All right, now this says zero dollars. All right, so this is probably somebody doing this. They either own a store or they're doing this, okay? Open every day. Yeah, so this place is in New York. And then you might want to go visit them, too, and see if they got a website or whatever. Okay, they got a phone number here. All right, so they got a they got a, a, a number here. I'm, I'm really close to New York. Maybe you want to go take a day trip and visit them someday and see if they have any giveaways, okay? It's more like a blog than a store, but... All right, can you understand what I'm saying here, kids? I'm going to leave this link in the description. It's sellbackyourbook.com. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal way of making a side hustle, okay? And it's evergreen. You could stop it. You could do it again. You could stop it. And if you put this in conjunction with an eBay account, okay... Just like these guys on eBay, I wouldn't do so much on Amazon because Amazon is mainly Kindle, you know, the digital books, okay? You put this in your in, in your eBay account, the ones that you can't sell on the sellback, and do like these guys are doing. Put them in a lot with 16, 20 books that you acquired, okay, and you couldn't sell on sell back your books. Now, what's going to happen is, right, this app is fantastic. Okay, what's going to happen is, and you know, you register to sign in. Okay, it's going to give you step by step what to do with this the condition, how you get paid. Okay, how do I get paid? Okay, shipping is a hundred percent free. Okay. Uh, I never really got the insurance on it, especially if I got a lot of the books for free. I just didn't care. Okay. Okay, so they're going to give you free shipping labels. You understand? And they're going to pay you right away. I always got, after you start doing it for a while and you're regular, they pay you right away. Okay. So, you know, and it, you know, if they don't want the books, I mean, if it didn't really cost any money, 
uh, you know, you can just tell them to keep it or whatever they do, you know. But usually, sorry about that. Been dogging my computer out. Okay. RWCweb.com. You go to RWCweb.com. Put your email in that box right there. Okay. You get on my email list. And you reply to that email you get sent and I will answer any of your questions and show you how to do this to survive in America in 2021. Take care.